Welcome to Borough The Video 97, an exclusive programme featuring your favourite club. And what a roller coaster year it's been for Borough fans. Two cup finals, the comings and goings of star players, and the race to rejoin the Premier League. Coming up, we'll be looking back at some of the most spectacular highlights as we feature six of the best. In the spotlight is Borough's new marksman, Paul Merson. We salute the England striker, who says he's committed to Teesside. And he's finished it. He might seem to feed him through. It's a good ball in. Merson to make it four. Four it is. And that's a beautiful goal for someone who's deserved one on the night. Also be paying tribute to Emerson. Enjoy a taste of Brazilian magic in a special treat for Emo fans. We'll also be adding a touch of off the field glamour. Highlights from a glitzy launch for the new Borough kit proves that Robbo's men really are in fashion. All this and more, including our pick of the goals of 97. We kick off with a look back at some of the headlines from a year that no Borough fan will ever forget. Is this Hignett? And he's done it! Craig Hignett! A poor clearance by David James. And Hignett, well, he picked the ball up, but he still had plenty to do. But he rifled that shot. Taken too long, Janinho! They couldn't keep the little genius in the bottle for 90 minutes. Janinho with the goal to break Manchester City hearts. Now Beck, the flag has stayed down, it's still with Beck. And it's a goal for Middlesbrough.
to a Wembley final, so it's a great night for them, even though we made hard work of it. Yet, at times, it looked very difficult for you tonight against Stockport. Yeah, I've said all along, I knew Stockport would... Ah! That was Ravenelli. Ah! The board accepts that Middlesbrough acted in good faith, but considers that the breach of the rules was serious. The board does not consider the award of the game to Blackburn practical or appropriate. The board considers that a deduction of three points and a fine of £50,000 is right and fair. this year in terms of um, the press situation you know the flight we've taken it would have been nice to have uh, come out of it at the last last hurdle but not to be so I don't know what's going to happen now but um, you know I think the best just leave to the, the, the players to in, in their own thoughts now um, you know difficult for us better support from any supporters in this country and I can guarantee you that because I've played for one of the best clubs but I tell you what your support has been fantastic this season. Since I came here I had, the, had a lot of support here and I love this I love this area here. And I, I will miss a lot Middlesbrough, but I, I will still support Middlesbrough uh, wherever we go. Lovely lady. 
Bale, Robbie Musto, and it's 2-0. Brian Robson's team have been hitting the headlines more than ever before in the club's history. They've also been hitting the back of the net with increasing regularity. And match number one in our pick of the best matches of 97 is a real six of the best. Uh, waiting to come on. Wide open. Beck played it in. Ravanelli played it out. Six Derby players now five. One has pulled out. Sturridge and uh, Master having a bit of push and shove as to who should stand in front of whom. Ravanelli takes in the end the wall, turns the ball away. Just fear getting a little heated in the crowd if we're not on the pitch. Beck and Ravanelli wait to go! spot and watched it in and Middlesbrough had the lead see match and it runs on to Dean Sturridge that's a good save by the goalkeeper saw the danger quickly was well out and stretched well to claim it Beck has made the run down the left, dark and a run from Ravanelli. He and Steve match together. Ravanelli! Shouldn't have been, but it is, and he's made up for the error of the first half. But you do have to wonder as Ravanelli made the diagonal run and Steve match covered him across, why Russell Holt? Came running out as he did, and the shot went under the goalkeeper's body. Emerson, who made the break, was a really good diagonal run, but Steematch was goal side of him and it forced him across, and the ball underneath the goalkeeper. Just that little bit of extra room Ravenetti got. May have been a clip of the heels off the defender as well. But it's 2 0 to Middlesbrough. Juninho. Ashley Ward's header, incidentally. Musto. Juninho. Emerson. between two defenders and this time didn't think about anybody coming up on either side 
he was absolutely sure it was his task to put it in the net, and that he did. 3-0 Middlesbrough. Five in the box for Derby. Chance for a break by Middlesbrough. If Juninho plays it, here's Ravinelli and Beck coming in from the other side. Should be four. And it's... Well, they pushed so many men forward, Derby County. It was just a question of whether Juninho here would play it correctly. He did, so did Ravinelli. Well, Beck, take his time and provide the finish. Italian and all smiles at the Riverside Stadium. Tonight, when uh, everyone in the middle of side wants to get on the score sheet, it would seem Juninho again. Mustn't pass it. What he does to Ravinelli, but one stage looked offside, but now completes his hat trick. They're being torn apart, but they've so overcommitted themselves, Derby County. Well, there was a moment then when Ravinelli was offside but not interfering. But Juninho delayed before finally giving it to the Italian. And the man who started the season with a hat trick on his debut gets another now against Derby County. And Middlesbrough have scored three times in the space of four minutes. Again, a quality finish and the goalkeeper left bereft of cover. Four completely in the wall, one close to. Sturridge, Stimatz. Oh, it's beautifully placed. Paul Simpson. Simpson, the scorer. And he doesn't get his clean sheet, the Australian goalkeeper, but it was a beautiful free kick. In the summer, Borough fans gave a massive thumbs up when the new kit was unveiled. It was no ordinary launch. A spectacular fashion show attracted thousands of fans to the Riverside on a warm Friday evening. It was a great success, and the club shop stayed open all night. A unique way to start the weekend. <laughs>
The new kit was unveiled in the Nationwide League on the opening day of the season against Charlton. It was a game where Borough saved the best for last, a day when Ravanelli was a toast of Teesside. One by Ravanelli, one by Blackmore, but too far ahead of Mikel Beck. Rufus got it away, down by Newton. This is Keith Jones. And this is Steve Jones, who's onside here for Charlton Athletic. And they have the lead through Steve Jones, no flag. Silence inside the Riverside, delight for Steve Jones and for the few travelling Charlton Athletic fans. It was his namesake, Keith, who put him close. Steve Vickers looked towards the assistant on the near side, but was unable to catch up with Steve Jones. Nine minutes gone. Merson. In towards Ravadelli. And, oh, the free kick has gone Charlton's way. Rufus went down. Ravanelli isn't quite sure what he's guilty of. Maybe a suspicion of handball as it was played in with the outside of Paul Merson's foot. Certainly on the top of the arm if it was. Musto. Beck. Farmer in close of 10 as well. How many kicks has he wanted him? Referee could hardly have had a better view. No card. <laughs> One hack. The second eventually chopped the tree down. Mercer will take the free kick. And that's much too close to Pettersson and Middlesbrough have been poor in this first half. That's rather summed up the opening 45 minutes for them. Festa. Very assured in possession. Got Vladimir Kinder in some space ahead of him here. Shot deflected. It'll come for Phil Stamp. Oh! But it just wouldn't quite come for Merson or Ravanelli. Stamp did what he could at full stretch to turn it into the danger area. But the ball somehow, via a deflection from Barnes, just eluded Ravanelli and Merson. Barnes only as far as Everson. And now Merson! Oh! Well, they're making chances now. He's getting an earful from both Ravadelli and Everson, as you might expect. I think Paul Merson was entitled to have a go, having been beautifully fed by Emerson, who was certainly well positioned for a return, but Merson went for goal. Flick on by Stamp, and jabbed in by Fester, and Middlesbrough level. Ten minutes remaining, and Gianluca Festa has done the trick. It has been coming. They put so much more pressure on Charlton in this second half. And from Phil Stamp's flick behind Ravanelli, who I don't think quite got a touch on the line, it's Festa who has equalised. Musto, Emerson, now Merson. Oh, that's lovely for Kinder. Vladimir Kinder has support. Ravanelli, yes! Last minute, last chance. Fabrizio Ravanelli has taken it. And Middlesbrough in these last ten minutes have turned defeat in, into surely victory. Four marks to Vladimir Kinder. Running Brown, the fullback, down that flank. His cross was deflected, and Ravanelli got between defenders to capitalise. Paul Merson was the new hero on Teesside, a popular signing from the moment he arrived at the Selnet Riverside Stadium in a £5 million deal from Arsenal. We've had a bit of a setback in the last, uh, last few months, but we are still as ambitious, if not more ambitious than ever. 
and we are determined to bring success to Middlesbrough Football Club. And I hope that the fans and everybody else in football will see today's uh, signing of Paul Merson as a statement of our ambition. And uh, I hope the football world will take note and watch out. I wouldn't come here just to sit here for the you know, next five years. It's, they want to go up and then we, go on and win the Premiership, and that's what I want. You know, I don't want to be one of these teams that are just going into the Premier to stay in it. And that's where they're ambitious, and that's, what's, you know, that's why I come. Merson again has got it. This means danger. Merson is the closest yet to a goal. It's to Merson. Merson's through, and it's wide. Merson's on the charge, a real chance, and he's finished it. He might see it to feed him through, it's a good ball in. Merson to make it four, four it is. And that's a beautiful goal for someone who's deserved one on the night. Up here. I am happy. I've moved into a house now and you know I'll be 100 percent behind Middlesbrough. You know, there's no doubt. I stayed at Arsenal for 13 years. I'm a loyal man. And I'll be here for five years. And you know, that's all there is to it. There's a lot about travelling, but you know, I've bought I've settled into an house now, so I'm here. I want to stay here, you know, and I just want the fans to get behind me 100 percent now and know that I'm not going anywhere. I'm sure they're behind you, Paul, as we are. Yeah, of course they are, but you know, there's a lot of talk and a lot of people believe what the papers say, but it's not true. I want to stay. It was a great boost to see the size of Borough's support had not diminished outside the Premiership. Townsend has two runners. They'll have to start again with Kinder. Musto. Merson. Here's Ormerod. And Merson! Nicely set up by Ormerod on the right-hand side. It was a calm ball back to Paul Merson. And love. One by Fester. Townsend. Tried to run through Holland. He was standing in his way. He had to shrug off Emerson initially here, Andy Townsend. Holland making uh, a nuisance of himself. Townsend to Kinder. Well struck, oh, it's in! And for the second Saturday running, Vladimir Kinder has scored for Middlesbrough. And the Birmingham goalkeeper, Ian Bennett, may be a little disappointed with himself. How far out was Kinder here? Best part of 30 yards, that's for sure. And it bounced just in front of Bennett. Edison, Ormrod. Havelock though for Birmingham. Oh, that's a poor ball straight to Beck. And here's Merson. And here's Beck. And here's the second goal. Beautifully guided in by Mikhail Beck. Mistake by Gary Ablett. And look at the weight of Merson's pass here. Just drifted over the shoulder of Beck. Who was brave in the finish. Headed by Ablett, and then by Fester. Borsell showed too much of that to Townsend. Merson looking for Ormerod. And here's Beck, 
And here's Emerson. It hit Walsall. Emerson's there again. It's three. Three in the first half for Middlesbrough. Emerson's turn this time. Again, a lot to admire about the build-up here. Again, young Ormrod involved. Set up by Beck. And although Emerson's first shot was blocked by Wassel, he literally beat the keeper to the punch with a header. Musto. Always trying to thread that through the eye of a needle. It came off Townsend. And it might run here for Furlong. Uh, Birmingham City have pulled a goal back. Paul Furlong following the uh, error by Robbie Musto. Andy Townsend was a little unfortunate there. And Vickers couldn't quite get across to deny Furlong. Merson. Here's Ben. Tinder coming up to his left. Musto trying to turn, Merson trying to thread it through, back, Musto, offside, won't count. Not sure that it was actually Robbie Musto who was the guilty man, here he is in possession, Beck has strayed beyond the last defender there, and when Merson threads it through, Beck it is who's offside, although Musto was the man who delivered the killer blow. Townsend, it's about to save from Bennett. Set up by Paul Merson. Andy Townsend stinging the goalkeeper's fingers. Kinder. Emerson. <laughs> oh, look at that. Here's Townsend. And here's Freestone. And again, good defending by Wastel. Kinder will try his luck again. And Bennett forced into making a save again. Quite a weapon that right foot of Vladimir Kinder. Lovely stuff from Merson. Middlesbrough yeah. really are turning in on that. Gianluca Festa. Now, how far is he going to go on this run? Oh! And he wasn't too far away. He's just stretching right at the very end. And stretching with his least favoured left foot, but a really good run, emphasising the class of Gianluca Festa. What a success he's been. Now then, here's your chance to win three great Borough videos. The first video up for grabs is Janino tribute to a legend. 60 minutes of top-class action and exclusive behind-the-scenes footage featuring one of the greatest players in the club's history. Our second video is Match of the 70s, a unique trip down memory lane featuring a tribute to the team that Jack built. Relive the highlights from a glorious decade when Jack Charlton's team won promotion and challenged for the league championship. Completing the lineup is 101 great goals, featuring games from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. A selection of some of the great goals scored by the Borough. All three of these official club videos can be yours. All you have to do is answer one simple question. And the question is from which Brazilian club did Middlesbrough sign Janinho? Was it A, Boca Juniors, B, Sao Paulo, or C, Santos? To enter, you must send your answer on a postcard to VSI at 96 High Street, Marlow, Buckinghamshire, SL7, 1AQ. Don't forget to include your name and address. The closing date for entry is the 1st of February, 1998. There are three sets of videos on offer as prizes.
we return to the action with a double bill against Sunderland. And Sunderland it is who will kick off the first ever league derby between these two great North East rivals to be staged at the Sunderland Stadium of Light. And Sunderland for the occasion in their traditional red and white. It's Middlesbrough who've been forced to change into their away colours. And a header away by Nigel Pearson. Borough will be so boosted by the fact that he's back in the team today. Played off by Merson to Townsend. Beck racing across to get there though was making. Townsend neatly picked up Vladimir Kinder. First real effort at goal and what a severe test for Perez it was, but he was up to it. Well, Perez had to backpedal here. Kinder in the goals recently decides to come inside on the right foot. Has a pop. This dips right at the last second. Good touch over from Perez. Right foot. It just begins to dip under the crossbar. Perez going back. Good stop. Clark. So hungry for possession. Setting away ball. Ray. Clark, Ball, Gray, Smith all in the box. It's Scott. And here's a chance. Smith is offside. The flag is up. It won't count. Smith's joy is short-lived. It's a good challenge by Musto to break it up. This is Merson. Beck now to his left. He's offside. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, Perez not taking any chances, but taking out Mikel Beck. Well, this is interesting. What does the referee do here? Because there's no doubt about it. The whistle had gone. The flag was up. And Perez, well, oh, oh, I suppose he can always say he didn't hear the whistle. But this is good play from Merson. Finds Beck. Now, let's have a look at Perez here. He clears the ball, but... Oh. Well, it's difficult for a ref. He doesn't get anywhere near the ball, does he? Whack. And maybe, perhaps, a little bit lucky, Perez. Here's a chance. It's Williams who's through. Great save. Alex Ray blocked by Fleming. Here's Gray blocked again by Fleming. Defending from Curtis Fleming for Middlesbrough. Here's Scott. And he's onside, it's Alex Ray. And he yeah. just couldn't turn. Tremendous pressure. And really, Darren Williams, I felt, should have done better. Good run, good pass. And I just felt that was a glorious chance. And Darren Williams, I'm not saying he froze, he just... He could have made a little bit better of this for me. Good ball, he's in a lovely position. Emerson gets back, he goes for the far post and you expect a Sunderland player to pounce. Eventually falls to Gray, but good defending from Fleming. Emerson gets back, might have just put him off. He went for the far post, good stop from the keeper, but you'd expect a red and white shirt to knock that back into the empty net. A very tight decision again. Townsend has released Merson. Beck in the box, Musto and Townsend looking to get there as well. Right across the face, but uh, Perez at the near post took it so well. Yeah, first time Merson's got free second half. Trying to just clip it with the outside of his right foot. Trying for the far post, but Perez, well, doesn't catch it totally clean. Just guess at the second attempt. And having absorbed it, can Burra now make a break with Alan Moore? Yeah, good defending again from Macon. Macon had to be aware where his goalkeeper was because Perez was flying out. Macon took no chance at all. Good defending. Here's Merson. Still Paul Merson. Played behind Moore, but it's Emerson! <laughs> and just as he did in this fixture last year, Emerson, with a rocket launcher, has put Middlesbrough ahead. Well, what can you say about this guy? Great work for Merson. Such a threat when he's got the ball at the feet. It's a quality cutback, but what a strike from the Brazilian. Absolutely blockbuster. Central position, right foot, goalkeeper, absolutely no chance. Blockbuster, great goal. Perez beaten to the left, superb. Merson, the provider. Oh, what a strike that is from Emerson. Merson, wrong foot to the fence, on the right foot. Perez is blinded, but surely the power and the pace he wouldn't have got near it. Merson, Emerson has again joined the attack, so too has Alan Moore. Good run this from Merson. Moore, surely, 
Perez blocks it. The goalkeeper got across quickly and smothered the shot. Yeah, Perez keeping Sunderland's hopes alive. Townsend's high free kick, looking to seek out Mikel Beck. Townsend again, this is Emerson. Emerson, lovely layoff, Robbie Musto! And it's 2-0! Musto showed great persistence! But what a lovely touch as well from Paul Merson. Ah, superb, superb. Musso, I thought, was going to play it to Beck. Look at, look at Beck on the left. Musso going as his own. Perez is unlucky. Musto reacts it quicker. Emerson held it up brilliantly here. Lobs it inside, but what about this for a touch? That's a premiership touch. And Musto at the second attempt. 2-0, butter. Great play from Emerson. But this is top class. That's the touch of the game. Musto, first stop, comes off the post and doesn't it react quickly. And surely now the game is beyond Sunderland as Musto fires his side 2-0 up. And here's a late chance for Williams. He steered it back and Johnston shot, turned in by Kevin Ball. And when it seemed that Sunderland could play all day and not score, finally ball has broken through, but too late. Yeah, surely it must be too late. It's, a, you know, it's got to be a consolation goal. Good play again from Williams. And ball, goodness me, I thought they were even going to miss that one, but ball from half a yard out managed to get the final touch. Just here, and with the right foot, prods at home. Two weeks later, Borough had home advantage in a rematch in the Coca-Cola Cup. That's a lot of strike there coming in. And it's Phil Stamp. And then he got back into the team against Sheffield United after a spell out through injury, getting a first touch, and not a bad one it was too. The cross flung in early, and Stamp got in between the defenders, hit the target, but couldn't beat Zutabia. Emerson releasing it first time. Merson is away. Zutabia. Oh, that's a nice bit of stuff there. And just evaded a threatening challenge there from Phil Stamp, but a, a good turn of speed from the Dutch keeper there. Nice bit of skill on the ball. And neither side looks in any danger of going out at the first hurdle. Tonight, a very different proposition. Brian Robson, even in his programme notes, was admitting that he might have looked for something rather more straightforward in this comparatively early stage of the competition. But now it's stamped on a powerful run. Merson has got genuine pace. Williams knows it, but he's no slouch, but merson has got round him. Can he pull it back for Emerson, who's coming in? And the run eventually was made by Musto. Having a go at young Craig Harrison. Not a bad ball in there. Fester had read it. Loose now for Scott to pick up. Schwarzer comes for it, and again, no problem at all. On the six foot five. Shouldn't be, I suppose. Again, good touch from Merson. And Stamp now on a surging run. Well covered there by Williams. Merson again has got it, and this means danger. Merson, it's the closest yet to a goal. Best opening, certainly. And Merson looked as though he had the class to take advantage. First touch got him through the defence. The angle was tight, though, and just pulled too far across the face of the goal. Middlesbrough going to make a change. Stamp who's going off. And on comes Craig Hignett, who plays his first game since the second match of the season. Now Hignett. Emerson took it so confidently in his stride, but 
just couldn't get that awesome power he could manage on a shot into that one. Hignett involved for virtually the first time. Again, Merson with a clever little flick. And Emerson ran onto it, but Zutabia kept solidly behind it. Emerson now. And that's a good run by Young Campbell. And he scored! It's the first goal for Andy Campbell! And the 18-year-old Borough lad has put his hometown club ahead. He really took that well. He's delighted, and so are all his teammates. A moment for him to remember. Only his third first team start. Great ball from Emerson. He held off the challenges, got his little bit of luck through the keeper's legs. But he's got his goal, and Middlesbrough are in the lead. 18-year-old Andy Campbell on the spot. 1-0 Middlesbrough. Townsend with the throw. Plenty of experience in this Borough team, along with the youngsters that Brian Robson has pitched in. Emerson, oh, that was clever stuff, and Townsend gets the cross into to be a thought about going. And that's just stretch and just about gets it away. Hignett's header nearly beat him. Hignett forced to just stop and wait. Townsend's cross was really hit deep. Hignett's header seemed to hang there, as did Zutabir, and he got to it in the end just. Hignett chasing hard. Fleming in there. Now it's Craig Hignett. And here's Merson. Oh, he's hit the post. That looked 2 0 all the way. Sharp work between Hignett and Merson. Hignett knew exactly what he wanted to do. Merson took his time, the whip of the post away. Just a little faint from Hignett. He was always going to play that one square. Deliberate with his aim. Just an inch or two wrong. Emerson with a turn, Craddock and Campbell just pushing up on him to make him hurry his clearance. Williams finally tidying up there. Morrison finding. And that's the second goal. And Craig Hignan is back. Whipped across there. And that is definitely Middlesbrough's night. Team. It was the other teenager, Craig Harrison, swung it across. Hignett, first touch to control it, and the second touch was a really accurate shot fired beyond Zutabir. Opened up the room and took his chance. And it's certainly all over now for Sunderland. Ever since Emerson arrived on Teesside, the media have been speculating on when the brilliant Brazilian will be leaving. Many so-called exclusives have been made to look ill-informed, as Emo has outstayed both Janinho and Ravanelli. Meanwhile, Burra's midfield magician has had his boots do the talking, and his skills have made him a favourite with the fans.
Emerson again had a starring role in our final feature game. A tricky away match against Oxford United at the Manor Ground completes our six of the best. Playing surface is excellent and Hignett a little tucked back inside. Hignett goes on, the ball into the area, chance! And what a chance it was for Andy Townsend, who hoofs it over the top of the Oxford crossbar and he had the whole goal to aim at. Well, that is some chance for the Republic of Ireland international who scored his first goal in new colours at the weekend. Look at this, he should have done a lot better. That's a beautifully weighted ball. Hignett to Fleming, and Fleming's cut back is good for Merson. What a terrific try from Paul Merson. And Arian van Hoosden had to be very alert to flip that one over. Well, they know that Merson packs a venomous punch, and he met this one, having controlled the ball from Fleming's pass beautifully. Townsend. Fleming up into that danger area again, and Hignett, and Emerson scores for Middlesbrough. A cracking goal. Beautifully manufactured. And they think the journey south has been well worthwhile. And the Brazilian has made it worthwhile for them. And Merson is saying, let's hear it from the Borough fans. The team hasn't lost the way this season, and they've got a lead here. Hignett the touch, Emerson the wallop, and Van Huysden no hope. And Middlesbrough, good value for their lead, given them by their Brazilian Emerson. And Wilsterman does well to hook it across, and there is the equaliser from the co-centre-back purse. Well, what a good combination between two central defenders to get uh, some glee on the Oxford terraces. And what a goal scorer he is. Darren Purse with his sixth of the season. That is what we well, hope to capitalise. And Beck, well, Robinson got a foot in there, but directed it straight to Townsend. And it's there. It's goal number two for Middlesbrough. And it's Robbie Mosto. Paul Merson, both in there. But Robbie Musto, the former Oxford player, has scored against his old club. And how he's enjoyed that moment. Musto, born just down the road, and who left Oxford to go to Middlesbrough, has come storming in there for the header. And the ball tucked in past Van Huysden and Middlesbrough have the lead back what a lovely ball it is from Andy, to Andy Townsend so inviting must have met it a glancing header good enough four yellow shirts converging on him but he still gets the pass away for Fleming now for Hignett first cuts it out again Middlesbrough get bodies in when they have to do they're swarming up around the Oxford goal again. Merson, there are four red shirts in the middle, and it's got to be goal number three, and Curtis Fleming, I don't believe it. Curtis Fleming, of all people, scores Middlesbrough's third. It was so simple for him, and I said I don't believe it because he's only scored one league goal in 160 appearances before tonight. And he, he won't get a simpler one, will he? Emerson there, hooks it across. Hignett couldn't get there. Fleming certainly could from all of a foot out. So Emerson, scorer of the first goal, instrumental in the third. Van Hoosden can't hold on there under Hignett's challenge. And the net is so inviting for Curtis Fleming. Good to see local youngsters coming into the side. Here's Bobby Ford, who's actually from the Bristol area. Emerson got in, Beck's in, and now Emerson's on his way, and there's one man on his right. He might seek to feed him through. It's a good ball in. Merson to make it four. Four it is. And that's a beautiful goal for someone who's deserved one on the night. Oh, he's had a grin on his face all night, Paul Merson, but that's the biggest one. And Emerson, who scored Middlesbrough's first, has laid on 
the last for Paul Merson. Well, I'm saying the last, it's 4-1 now. And Paul Merson gets his second league goal for Borough, his third of the season. Emerson, it was delightfully laid wide of Robinson, inviting the chip, exquisitely executed. And it was always on as Oxford committed themselves forward, but didn't Merson take it with some relish and some aplomb? We hope you've enjoyed our soccer video annual. Look out for more VSI videos in 1998. Meanwhile, we'll leave you with our pick of 10 great goals from 97.